Hey guys! Uh, welcome to another unboxing! And this time it is for uh, DSP's uh, new uh, debut girl group, April, who I wasn't expecting to love as much as I do. I wasn't expecting to buy this beautiful thing. But, alas, I did. I kind of made a pact to myself to stop buying first releases from new groups because it doesn't always work out. <laughs> but I couldn't resist because this is so beautiful and such a good little album and you know I guess the, the little sister group of Kara um, I like Kara a lot I always have liked Kara a lot they're not like a group that I love as much as I like other girl groups like they're not in my top 10 but um, you know so I was a bit like mmm but I checked them out and I really enjoy April I thought they did a really good job with their, their debut and I've taken a great interest in them, so yeah. Um, I saw an unboxing for this one, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm so in love. Um, there's six tracks on here, and they're all really good. I would say, um, along with um, Dream Candy, I'd say Harry Harry and Knock Knock are pretty good, especially Knock Knock, I quite like that one as well. But yeah, it's got a really lovely concept, um, and so yes. Um, the other thing that I will say, actually, so it's got a nice thick photo book. And um, if you can see that lovely little bit of red there, this is my favourite kind of photo book. It's stitched in, so it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. So, yeah, it's really good. You can like open it up, it's like a proper book, and I love that. So, yeah. Um, but yes, so I flipped through these quickly. Um, so if you were kind of debating about whether or not to get this, if I was to give you advice, I would say yes. Um, I don't regret buying this one. The photo book is absolutely gorgeous. And um, yeah, I'm a big fan of the girls. I'm not a massive fan of the age of some of them. <laughs> so, Hyungju, 98, which you know, eh, it's okay, it's fine. Hyungju. It's this one, Jinso, <laughs> date of birth. 2001. Hmm. It's a bit young, but she's pretty adorable. Um, so yeah, 2000 for Yena. <laughs> Hugging a sheep. Summon. Now, it's my understanding I didn't watch Baby Kara, but I believe that Summon was in Baby Kara. Um, and I think another member was, I want to say Cheon, but I'm not sure that it is, like seven. I'm not exactly sure who else was in Baby Cara. I'm sure there's another member that's in Baby Cara, but I'm sure someone can leave me a comment to confirm. No, maybe she was in Baby Cara. I don't know. Um, but no, I really love these girl, this girl group. Um, I really love like, the cute kind of A-pink style kind of girl groups. I mean... Sometimes there's quite a lot of them, but I just, I just really like the concept. They're just really lovely. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that um, I have this. I, um, I would say that I have no regrets. Um, I am going to try and be a bit more, like, sensible about buying stuff because butterfly, um, sheep. Ah, that's really. I'm in love every day with you. Hurry, hurry. Um, yeah, it's so easy when you when a debut group comes along and you just instantly fall in love with them and want to buy their first one and then they kind of the second one's released and you're like, oh god. But Jin Swole Summon. Yeah, I really like these groups, so I think they've got a promising future. They're from a fairly good company. Um, or fairly big company. So yeah. I really love this. I love the CD as well. The CD is really cute. Yeesh! Glare! <laughs> uh, so it was on like a stubbly nubbly but the actual overall quality of this album is really good um, musically and physically as well. So I definitely would say it's one that I would recommend. It's one of the more better packaged um, debut albums. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please feel free to leave a comment especially if you know which members were in Baby Cara because I completely blanked <laughs> apart from someone anyway i hope you guys enjoyed till next time guys ciao